Go ahead. I'm George Brandrick of the Qualicum Beach Historical Society, and this is the Powerhouse Museum. It is dedicated to the generation, history, and use of power. This building originally held a generator which supplied this area from 1930 to 1947, when the engine was removed and external power came into the island. <coughs> the Vivian generator <coughs> was brought down from Daisy Lake as a demonstration of generation. The main display of electrical utilities and shows insulators, cutouts, meters, and recorders, which were used in distribution of electrical power. The wall panels under the picture of the John Hart Dam show basic principles of electricity, methods of generation and distribution. The first panel gives an explanation of a basic atomic structure describing an electric current due to the movement of electrons. A flow of 6.28 billion electrons will produce a current of 1 ampere. Good conductors such as silver and copper and aluminum have loosely held electrons, while iron has 10 times more resistance to the flow of electrons. The following panels show the methods of generation of electricity. Static electricity, which is a stripping of electrons from an insulator by friction and is produced by rubbing. This can occur when a person walks across a carpeted room. The shock produced from touching a metal doorknob is from the electrons being removed by friction from the person's body while walking on the carpet. For the generation of usable electrical power, a much higher current must be generated. This can be done by using chemical methods such as batteries or mechanical methods using conductors moving in magnetic fields. A magnetic field can be produced from a magnet or produced by an electric circuit flowing in a coil of wire. Conductors are rotated in this magnetic field, and each time a conductor passes the pole of a magnet, the current will rise. This is alternating current, and is the normal current used by electrical utilities. The generator is driven by water wheels or turbines, where control falling water on blades or cups on a wheel are connected to the generator. Steam under pressure <coughs> in a boiler is produced by burning coal, oil, gas, or nuclear fission. There were some reciprocating steam engines, such as used in the steam railway engines, but most of these are obsolete now, and gasoline and diesel engines are used extensively for smaller generating stations and portable use. The Vivian diesel generator in the museum is an example of those used in small remote communities. In the bottom right-hand corner of the panel display, 
is a diagram of the generation transformation to higher voltage, transmission to transformers for distribution systems, and local transformers to household and business use. Transformers step voltage up or down, the voltage using an alternating magnetic field produced by the current flowing in the primary winding and inducing a current in the secondary winding. These insulated windings are wound around an iron core that will increase the density of the magnetic field. Electricity cannot be stored except in another form, such as chemical energy in a, in a battery or water behind a dam. Electricity travels at nearly the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second, so the electricity produced by a water turbine is used before the water has left the turbine blade. A large picture above, above the display is of the hydroelectric station near Campbell River. The three penstocks coming down the slope carry water from the dam to the turbines in the powerhouse. The three towers are surge tanks and absorb the water shock when the gates that control the turbine are closed. This is the Vivian diesel generating set and we came down from Daisy Lake so that we've done a demonstration generating. It's about 60 horsepower and um, would run in a small community. At the moment, all we have is this exciter uh, running into the panel to light the lights and have uh, a demonstration that it is generating. A large generator is not coupled up at the moment. We run it regularly for uh, people to see and hear, and we can do that now. This, or I'll explain first, the compressor at the back charges up a tank to around 200 pounds per square inch. Then this is used. Thank you. 